Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little different than what I normally do. Today I am on the way to the doctor. My husband is driving me. So we are on our way to Duke University. I have a cardiology appointment. So I thought that I would bring you along for the ride. So before we get into this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of thing and make sure you ring the bell so that you get notified every time I post a video. Now let's get on to it. Okay, so as I said, we are on the way to the cardiologist. I have my Sam's Cola here with me, hashtag not a sponsor. I just woke up with a headache and this helps me, the caffeine helps me feel better. So I have that and I'm also drinking my Arbonne Energy Fizz. This is also not a sponsor, but um, I buy these Fizz packets from Arbonne because they really help with my energy levels because I have something wrong with me where caffeine doesn't give me energy. So um, that's what we're drinking today. And then my outfit, I'm wearing this hoodie. It's got lifelines with a mountain on it. And then I have a fun shirt on underneath that I'll show you at some point today um, when I'm not wearing the hoodie, but it's a little bit cold right now. So I have the hoodie on. So um, but yeah, and I wanted to give you a little bit of background because as I said, we're on the way to the cardiologist. So um, before anybody freaks out and wonders what's wrong, um, I have congenital heart defects. I was born with them and I just have to have them monitored on a yearly basis. By the way, this is a cord for a GoPro that is filming. So if you see that pop up in the video and you're like, what the heck is that? Now you know it's a, it's a thing for the GoPro. Um, but anyway, yeah, I have congenital heart defects and I'm going to kind of explain a little bit what I have. And I'll try to insert pictures if I can find a good like um, biology textbook kind of diagram thing. I don't want to show anything like too gruesome or um, graphic is what I was looking for. Like, I don't want to be too graphic. But basically, I have an interrupted aortic arch that was repaired when I was a baby. Um, or I wouldn't be here telling you about it if they didn't repair it. Um, and then I have a leaky valve, which again, I'll try to put some sort of a picture, but basically the blood leaks out after the um, the heart like pumps the blood and then some of it gets sucked back in so that could cause swelling so I have to have that monitored on a yearly basis <clears throat> excuse me and then the other thing I have are two heart murmurs and one of them was repaired and one of them was small enough that they didn't have to repair it so um and then I also have tachycardia but that's not really I know for some people that's a big concern if they have atrial fibrillation or whatever, it can be um, a problem, it can lead to a stroke, whatever. It's normal for me. So before, you know, if you hear me mention that at any point and, you know, before you freak out, it's normal for me. I've worn heart monitors, I've had it checked out, and they've determined that it is a safe amount of tachycardia for me to be having. So. Um, I just have to go on a yearly basis to get monitored. So what I think is going to happen today, this is a new patient visit at Duke University. Um, my father-in-law is a retired heart surgeon, so he wanted me to um, get seen at Duke because that was just better, better care, better people than where I was being seen at. Um, so that's where we're going to stay. And yeah, I just thought I would take you along for the ride. And I feel like I was gonna say something else and I lost my train of thought, but I will say it's important to note also that I have a pacemaker. So that's the one thing that I didn't say. Um, basically everything got repaired and then my heart was like fine, but it was beating very slowly after the operations, which is apparently normal. It's just supposed to kick back after a few days. Mine never did. So enter the pacemaker and here we are and I'm happy and relatively healthy and I'm around to tell the tale so praise Jesus but um yeah so there we are and that's what we're doing today mm. I remember when I was
was supposed to say earlier. So basically, because this is a new patient visit, they're probably not gonna do a ton of stuff. I imagine I'll get an EKG, height, weight, blood pressure, that kind of thing. Um, I also have no subclavian artery, which means there's an artery that's attached to the um, aorta and then it travels down your arm, and that's what gives you your pulse. But I've lost my subclavian artery during the arch repair, so I don't have that, which basically means I have a very weak pulse in my left arm. So I have to make sure they check blood pressure on the right arm. Um, but anyway, I'm probably just gonna get EKG, height, weight, blood pressure, that kind of thing. And then they'll probably just ask me a lot of questions about my medical history, so basically dumping my life story on them like I always do at new places. Um, so yeah, I imagine, hi. Hi. I imagine that's what will be happening today. And I'm not gonna be able to film like the actual doctors like talking to me. I'm probably not gonna film that. But I will keep you guys updated. I'll show you the building where we're at and stuff like that. Um, so I don't know how much the actual doctor appointment you'll be able to see. But first we're going to go to lunch at a place called Bullock's Barbecue. Apparently it's like really good top notch barbecue or something. I've never had it. So um, hubby is going to expose me today to That's right. apparently top notch barbecue. So Our family really likes Bullock's. So I figured I'd Okay. All right sounds good so anyway yeah I just thought I would update you guys and now I'm going to just chill and do all the things and then I will keep you guys updated um, throughout the day guys we have arrived at the restaurant Bullock's barbecue I believe it is that building behind me um, so we are about to go in and get some food and I'm not gonna vlog a lot while we're in there because I want to just enjoy my husband and our food so but I will get maybe a little clip of our food when it arrives or something just so that you guys get to see so yeah we're gonna go inside and then I think we're both gonna go to the bathroom because we've been drinking a lot, or at least I have been drinking a lot while we're driving. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna hit the bathroom first. It's really bright. And then um, we're gonna get food. So I will keep you guys updated with everything that happens. All right, guys, we just finished lunch and now we are off to the doctor. As you saw in our last clip that I inserted, um, he got barbecue and coleslaw and Brunswick stew. I got a meatball sub and mac and cheese, and it was really good. How, how was the food? 
and he got coke and I got water so yeah because I already had a coke in here and I wanted to like save us a little money and stuff so anyways we are now off to the doctor and I'll keep y'all updated So a little update, we are inside. Um, we got checked in and then I just got my vitals. This really nice lady, um, I'm not gonna say her name just for privacy and stuff, but she was wonderful. Kind of elderly, maybe like 60s-ish. Um, and she was just a delightful person. And she was asking us how long we've been married, asking us about the honeymoon and stuff like that. And she took my vitals and was just, overall a nice person so everything looks good my blood pressure i forget what the numbers were um because i never understand any of that stuff but she said it was good she said my oxygen levels were 100 and my pulse was like 98 or something which was a little high just because i've been walking around so um now we're just waiting to see the doctor yep thoughts what do you think of her really nice yeah so that's a setup to have a good appointment when you have the person doing the vitals um, is really pleasant. Um, she also weighed me too, and um, I don't think I want to divulge my weight on the internet, but um, I've been trying to gain some weight because I'm kind of underweight and I weighed a little more than I expected, so I'm happy about that. So anyway, I'll check in with y'all later. All right guys, so we just saw the doctor, and because I was a nurse we saw before, we just saw the doctor. She took my pulse, she did my blood pressure, stuff like that. We just talked about my medical history. So yeah, she did all that. And then we're gonna stay and get an EKG and hopefully an ultrasound. And then she wants to do blood work, which I'm not really looking forward to, but it's whatever. So we're gonna do all that today. Hopefully, she's not sure if they can fit in the ultrasound or the echo echocardiogram i forget what exactly the difference i think mine's an echocardiogram the ultrasound is what they do to show you your baby when you're pregnant but anyways um i don't think those words are really interchangeable but i forget what the key differences are but anyways i'm gonna hopefully do that she's not sure if we can fit in the ultrasound or sorry the echocardiogram she's not really sure if we can fit that in today or not but we're gonna try um but for sure we're gonna do an ekg and um I'm probably gonna do blood work, so yay, I will keep you updated. Alright guys, quick update. So I got the old echocardiogram, I almost said ultrasound. 
took them forever because they couldn't find the right angle. Basically, the picture they needed was not retrievable from the angle they normally do, so it took forever. But we got it done, got the EKG, got the blood work, and now I'm waiting for my x-ray. So I'll keep you guys updated. We've been here for like four hours so far. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of tired and I want to go home, but it's okay. So I will keep this mask. It's too big. Um, so I will keep you guys updated. But right now we're in the waiting room, waiting to get an X-ray, and it sucks because they won't let him go back. Like the initial appointment, they let him go back, but then like the ultrasound and stuff, they made him wait. So he's in the waiting room for like almost an hour, wondering what's going on, and then the blood draw, he couldn't come back with me. Um, so that's weird, but it's whatever. So. Yeah, we will keep you guys updated. you have anything you want to say? Nope. Okay. Keep you guys updated. Alright guys, we're done, finally. Um, our appointment was at... I would just like to point this out. Our appointment was at 1.40. It is now 5.36. Yeah, you do the math, people. This, this is what happens when I go to the cardiologist, particularly a new location. So, yeah, I'm... This is, yeah, I'm just, I'm tired, I'm drained, um, I just want to go home. But I got the x-ray done, and uh, yeah, it was good. So, she, I guess, didn't know right away that I had a pacemaker, so she looked at the first shot she took, and then she was like, Megan, do you have a pacemaker on your right side? And she sounded kind of wigged out, and I was like, yeah, and she's like, okay, just wanted to make sure. So, it's the kind of stuff that, like... I'm used to, so I forget to say it to people, but it's something that's important, and if other people don't know, sometimes it can result in them having a little freak out moment. But yeah, I got the blood draw. I don't know how much I talked about that in the other clip, but it was not bad at all. She was good, um, and it didn't really hurt that bad. But it did bruise pretty decently. I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to like show it on here, because I got the the selfie cam yeah you can kind of see that right there so yeah i'm a little surprised for um how not painful it was um the fact that i have a bruise now but anyway so now yeah that's pretty much it i'll like update you guys when i'm home and we'll close out the video there but yeah, the husband wants panda, so I think we're... Yeah, we're going to panda and then go home. For panda. Um, I'm not they don't have panda in Pinehurst, and I'm really upset, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a reason. Okay, okay. Other Chinese, but not panda. And that's an issue, apparently. I like panda. I'm just kind of not super hungry right now. I might just get a Coke and some red goods, but... We'll see. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go for now. But yeah, there you go. All right guys, we are home after a very long day. We just got home a few minutes ago and yeah, I'm super tired. We were there for like four hours and I don't think I mentioned it's like an hour and 15 to drive there. So, but that's, you know, nothing new to me. When I lived in Virginia, I was driving an hour to get to cardio so it's okay but yeah I'm very tired I think I'm gonna take like a warm bath or something I'm gonna sleep in tomorrow um but yeah um he's having his panda express and I'm like Sam's a Sam's caller from the other video yeah um so yeah that is pretty much it for this video um yeah so if you enjoyed make sure to give this a thumbs up and stay subscribed to my channel if you're not already ring the bell so that you get notified every time i post a video and yeah comment down below um what should we have in comment what type of video they want to see next mm -hmm. comment down below what type of videos you would like to see in future and just comment down below if you like this type of video where I take you along for a trip where I'm going somewhere and maybe I'll do more of that um, 
But yeah, there you have it. That is it for this video, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.